We got to take that off. So oh, the light. Well, if we can right. get back to that. Look at the muscles. Look at the muscles. Tight. <laughs> Here comes the old boys and girls. It's going to come out pretty fast. Oh, snizz that oil coming out. Looks like when I have to go to the back room. <laughs> This one here is stripped, obviously. You don't need to replace it with one of those self-tapping drain plugs if it's in a steel oil pan. Aluminum oil pan, sometimes you may have to put a helicoil in there if you can get one that size. The head of this one's stripped out. That one there is going to have to be replaced because it's hard to get a wrench on it and turn it effectively. The threads on it, however, are just fine. Now, this is one right here that the starting thread is fouled up. And that indicates that, I mean, that's a problem that could cause damage to the threads in the pan. So that one was replaced. You notice this one's an interesting one because it's got an O-ring style built-in gasket. These other ones have a separate flat gasket. Finally, this one here looks just fine. There's nothing wrong. Here it doesn't look like you wouldn't think of anything wrong. Right. But this one's been in and out of there so many times, and it's been tightened so many times, that the threads on it are stretched. And whenever you're screwing it out and it's hard all the way out, then that's one of the things that you got to uh, find, I mean, one of the indicators that you're going to have to replace the, uh, the plug. Now that particular plug was replaced for that reason. When we went to screw it out, it was really hard to screw out of there. This particular plug here is one that was designed to use in a pan where the threads have been destroyed, like these Japanese cars with the aluminum oil pans. The only problem with this one was it was leaking. It was in a Honda car, the 97 of Civic that we were working on. And you screw this in, supposedly, and then you got a little old drain plug, but he never could get this to where it wouldn't leak. So we tapped some new threads in the pan and put him a new plug in there. You'll never screw that drain plug into that hole unless you're going to tighten it, okay? Say it one more time. Don't ever screw the drain plug into the hole unless you're going to put a wrench on it right then and tighten it. Why it hit me? You're don't better off to forget to put the drain plug in entirely don't, don't hit me. so oil runs out on the floor when you're pouring it in than you are to leave it loose and they leave the shop and drive it for two or three days and then the flow works its way out and you've lost all your oil. It's really important. Take that snug, now we're rolling this up from under here. I'm not shaming down this way. Here we've got to change the filter from the top. Let's look at the filters right there. There's a wrench that's through a drain pan under the car. There's the... Now this right here is a filter wrench. There's a bunch of different types of this. This is the most common and most friendly type as far as that. They may have some trouble. All right, as you turn it, it goes in. And so what we're going to do is let him stick that one on that filter. Don't need to look at everything else. It's the hot motor. Spread it out. It's awesome, isn't it, boy? Hot. Control is sitting rolling and then coming down the water. Everybody. All right. Boys and girls. Look at that. Is that, is that terrific or what? <laughs> I like it. You like it. You need it. You know where that gasket is, because that gasket very easily comes out and sticks to that surface. That gasket yeah. right and chun in the way. Yeah. So we're getting rid of that. Rid of all, that. all filters like this one right here have got to be punctured and drained for 24 hours. Can we watch this part? Stop the coat. We're going to take this right here. We're going to put it in there. We're going to let it drain for 24 hours. As the sign says, before we turn the floor on It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Okay? So it's the law. You will go to the tank to eat closer. Just like this. Nice clean dead. Sit it to the side. Okay. 
You don't fill it up with oil because you got to turn the filter upside down to put it on there. Is well, the word duff? Put it on that seal. Use a good seal on the motor. Yeah. Soda. Spill no oil. When you're talking, look at the lens. Wipe that, wipe that surface with a rag when that gas is going to be. Right up there. Wiping the surface with a rag, then he's going to take the oil filter and screw it on there. You're not a very nice boy. One of the things that I like to do. Do See, kind of Mr. Richard has very good hand acquisition. Watch this. You pull that up like that, just stick it in there, and then it just doesn't really spill any. Just cover it up with your finger, and then that's going to be the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 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 Yeah, that's what i am going to do yeah that Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Then I'll show her probably not. She'll sure. hide. All right. Now you got a funnel. Fast. That's a bumping funnel right there. Oh, well, yeah. Do you have a lot of time on your hands? Belts, hoses, battery terminals, the other fluid levels, and whatever else you see that might be a concern to the customer. It doesn't mean you're going to try to sell them something they don't need, but what it says is they're going to expect you to kind of look this thing over. It's not a bad idea to pop the cover off the air filter and have a look and see what it looks like. Just give it a run through. Yeah, give it a run through and all that. And if you know they haven't had a fuel filter replaced in a long time, you might want to go there too. Then you pop that off, you yank the filter out, you look it. doesn't look all that bad. I like to drop them on the floor and see if... Dirt comes out of them. If it does, I typically say, hey, your oil filter, I mean, your air filter's kind of nasty. Why don't you drop it in dust? Uh -huh. You're going to drop it in dust. Well, in a shop that's as busy, you don't usually drop it in dust. You drop it on a floor that's like this. It's kind of kind of semi-clean. A little bit greasy. If your air cleaner is cracked or damaged in any way, it will pull dirt in there and it will destroy the engine. Cranked up to fill the whole filter up. Good idea when you start it up to pay attention to your oil pressure gauge. Look over here, it jumps up. Look under it, see if it's got any leaks. No, that's good. That's good.